If you're somebody who slices your driver, then today I'm going to give you five ways that could fix that slice, okay? And we know that two things in particular contribute to the slices, and that is that open club face as we're coming into the ball. If that club face is open, and secondly, if we are coming across the ball with that open club face, we're going to get that big slice, okay? So anything we do change, we need to bear that in mind, okay? Five, five things, okay? Number one, the most common thing I see in the setup is poor ball position, okay? So we want that ball opposite our lead foot, okay? Typically, the slicers get the ball position wrong okay but if we can get that ball opposite that lead heel then that allows us to square that club face you know you can imagine if that ball gets too far forward we're hitting it late we could be coming across the ball slicing the ball okay so get that ball opposite that lead foot really simple to do start with your feet together small step with the left big step with the right get that nice and dialed in okay Point number two, adopt a neutral to strong grip, okay? So in this position here, I want to feel like I've got two, perhaps even three knuckles visible on my lead hand. I want this V pointing up to my trail shoulder and I want my trail hand just pop nicely on the side of the grip there. If you have a weak grip where both hands are turned to the left as I look down, that's going to open the face. We're going to get in all sorts of bother, okay? So again, like the ball position, the grip is something that anybody can do. Take a lot of care in that grip. If you can adopt a, a neutral, even slightly stronger grip, that's going to definitely help get rid of that slice, okay? Point number three is the shoulder alignment, okay? Again, something else in the setup, but so many slices, they get into an open position and we know as soon as we get if we have a open alignment that's going to dictate the path of the club as soon as we get open we're going to come across the ball swipe across the ball again that can lead to either the pull left or the slice okay so really just take care in that setup when i'm looking at my alignment i'm looking at feet knees hips and shoulders so get yourself in that position, nice little checkpoint, even if it means just getting the club across the, across the chest there, just make sure we're nice and square. As soon as we get into this position, we know we can get in bother, okay? Point number four, okay, into the backswing. A big common fault as we get to the top of the backswing, I see a lot of cupped wrists, okay? We think about the, 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 the wrist position here where it's flat. We have this cupped position. We have the bowed position. Generally, if you get into this cupped position, look what happens to that club face. It gets very open. We're going to come across the ball. With that open club face, it's going to slice the golf ball. Okay, so, so make a conscious effort. With that lead wrist position, keep that nice and square. Bear in mind, the lead, the, the, the wrist position and the grip do have a match up, okay? But as a general rule, you know, if that does get cupped, then it will open that club face and it will cause you some problems, okay? And then finally, again, the most common fault I see when it comes to the downswing is not having the correct release through the ball, okay? So I see so many guys and girls coming through this position lead arm very high we get this sort of chicken wing effect uh, and we know from there that club face is going to be wide open okay certainly here in the uk we see a lot of cricketers do this where they are very much in that position but we want to feel toe a bit more down square and then just naturally releasing that club head through the ball again think of maybe tennis if you were to play a forearm shot in tennis just naturally releasing it through the ball that's going to allow you to square that club face off okay so five super simple tips and we know that more than likely you might only be doing one of those things 
uh, but make sure you check them all. Okay, so just to recap, ball position off opposite that lead heel, slightly stronger grip, club face, uh, 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 shoulder alignment not too far open, get them nice and square. Lead wrist nice and flat, we don't want it cupped, and then having the correct release through the ball to ensure that that club face squares off. Let's see if we can put that into practice on the 16th hole here. Pretty good strike. Hope you found that useful guys. As always, if this is your first time watching the channel, I post videos like this every week to help you improve your game.